Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Ria, and I know that most of you guys will be finishing your first trade within the within the next month or so. And uh, the INICT exam is also coming up in just a few months. So now is the time during revisions to really tweak your strategy to make it more uh, suitable for the INICT exam. So in this video, I'll be talking about exactly what you should be focusing on during your revisions so that you can give INICT your best shot. So I hope that during your first read, you guys have read all your subjects thoroughly um, and as best as you can in a very conceptual manner because that will be helping you a lot, especially in the INICAT exam. So, uh, for example, if I assume that you will be finishing your first reading by, by August end, that leaves you with approximately two months for your revisions. And I would uh, recommend you to finish your first revision in around 30 days and your second revision in around 20 days so that you are left with at least your last 10 days for a final revision. So from the first revision onwards, we have to start to really selectively filter all the important topics that you have to repeatedly revise. And uh, I think we all know that INICT especially is a very PYQ heavy uh, exam. It really tends to repeat the same topics every year. And uh, so we have to make sure that you do repeatedly solve the previous year questions in every single revision. So in your first revision, I would recommend that you uh, focus more on solving only the INICT PYQs. And it's okay if you have less time to skip out on the NEAT PYQs for now. So do solve at least the past five years uh, INICT PYQs, which you can uh, get from any app like Marrow. Or if you want to do them from a book, then you can also buy Ames Essence, which is also a great book. And um, if you want to do older PYQs also, then they will be available in the Ames Essence book. So I had uh, done my PYQs from both Marrow and Ames Essence. And uh, what we have to focus on is not just remembering the answer to every question, but really trying to understand the entire topic behind that question. Because the exact question might not get repeated, but the entire topic in itself is very, very important. Um, and INICT really tends to uh, focus on those really niche topics. For example, in anatomy, it's really, uh, they are, every year they will definitely ask you embryo. Uh, general pharmac is very important. Important graphs in physio are very important. So you will find a lot of these important topics uh, list on Telegram and on the internet. But I think the best way to understand the important topics is by solving the previous year questions yourself repeatedly. And in that way, you will yourself begin to understand what are the important topics and where you have to focus on more what are the weak topics for you so that's the first thing I want to say that from the first revision onwards please start solving PYQs more thoroughly and in your first revision I want you to solve all of the previous questions and really bookmark the questions which you want to revise again in your second revision because in your further revisions you might not have time to solve all of the PYQs again so in that case in at that time you can selectively only revise your bookmark PYQs so that is the first thing. The second thing I want you guys to really start focusing after your first reading is solve more and more INICT based GTs. So as you know, INICT has a different pattern uh, than the NEET PG exam. You have the same number of questions, that is 200 questions, but you only have uh, 180 minutes. Uh, for INICT whereas you have 2-10 minutes for NEED PG. So it is really important to practice giving that exam in 3 hours because uh, there is, the questions of INICT tend to be more trickier and more lengthy and you also have less time to solve them. So you really have to practice your time management skills and how you plan to uh, give the exam, the real exam also, how you plan to distribute your time. So please do increase the frequency of giving INICT based GTs before the exam. Also, I want to add that this would also be a good time if you have not already to watch uh, Dr. Zena Ma'am's BTR because I don't think anybody knows the exam, the AIMS exam especially better than Zena Ma'am herself. She, uh, her BTR I think is especially really, really high yield for INICT exam. All the topics which she has taught are really important for INICT especially. So if you are feeling a bit uh, clueless about what to read at the last moment and where to revise from, then definitely BTR uh, can help you at this point of time. Uh, Zainab Ma'am has also released uh, many important topics especially for INICT so if you do need a checklist about uh, which topics to read and not to read you should definitely uh, refer her checklist which is really really nice. So um, 
Also at this time, if you uh, are following your own notes, please uh, selectively really start to filter your notes and only read those topics which are more important for INICT. It is okay to leave out some sections of notes which are not really asked that repeatedly in the AIMS exam, uh, which you can cover later for NEET PG after INICT. So uh, do start to plan uh, your studies more selectively for the exam which you are aiming that is INICT. So doing smart study in terms of solving the PYQs, focusing on the high yield topics and giving GTs on time, reviewing your GTs and working on your weak areas or doing all of this is really going to increase your chances of uh, giving a good exam. And um, it, it, even if you don't track the exam, remember it's going to be a huge confidence boost for NEET PG. So please buckle up guys, let's start aiming for November 5th and um, keep going. Don't stop now, you've come too far to stop now um, and let's make it till the end. So see you soon and all the best. Bye guys.